A sea glider is an all-electric flying boat. It is meant for regional coastal transportation to solve the problems of routes that are just too long to drive and you're stuck in traffic, or to fly where it's too expensive and you're stuck in the airport longer than you're in the airplane. A sea glider operates in three modes, float, foil, and fly. So you board it at the dock like a boat, then you rise up on hydrofoils that we take from the America's Cup, so that gives us high wave tolerance in the harbor, and then we fly on a cushion of air over the surface of the water, just like a bird flies on, called the ground effect, that gives sea gliders incredible efficiency. To achieve that very slow flight, this is a configuration called a blown wing. The propellers blow air over the wing, and that's why they're distributed. The wing sees fast moving air, even though the sea glider moves slowly, and therefore we're tricking the wing into generating very high lift at low speeds. So that allows us to slow our takeoff and landing speeds to about 50 knots or so, 50 to 60 miles an hour, which is also the top speed of a sea glider on its hydrofoils, and for the first time ever, we can overlap those two speed regimes and we can take off from a foil onto our wing. We also have extreme interest on the defense side. We have 15 million in contracts with the US Marine Corps today. Uh, we are rapidly approaching larger programs, acquisition programs, and working not only in the US, but with our allied uh, Department of Defenses and Ministry of Defenses on incorporating sea gliders into their defense and national security strategies. In less than five years, we have our full-scale prototype on the water with safety systems sufficient to take on human crew. I mean, literally myself was on that sea glider earlier today. Uh, and we are imminent within a couple years now of our first deliveries to both commercial and defense customers. 2027, sea gliders will be in operation in multiple places in the world.